ông cứ chụp ông chúng tôi chụp đẹp cả một to cái trong đại ca này thì sẽ làm ca hay đòi về thì cái chuyện từ cầu mình bị cả bị cái lục nôn chía nằm bay miền nào cả một to cả tăng không có định đầu chụp bộ sạ xây chụp bộ đầu mình đang rót bọc bình nhiệt này cũng có ma tuần và to cả tăng tổng đối tổng tổng chơi lục nằm nàng thay bình nhá Merci, Monsieur le Président. Avant que les débats ne reprennent, euh, j'aurais voulu en quelques secondes clarifier notre position pour qu'il n'y ait pas de malentendu concernant l'objection qui a été soulevée juste avant le déjeuner. L'objection n'avait pas pour but d'interdire dans l'absolu toute question qui commencerait par « est-il juste de dire que ?» Mais les dernières questions qui avaient été posées par la Défense n'avaient pas, à notre sens, de réel fondement objectif pour qu'elles puissent être posées à une partie civile qui n'est pas un expert. Et il nous a été apparu que ces dernières questions l'invitaient à rentrer dans des hypothèses, à se livrer à certaines spéculations ou à tirer des conclusions. Et ce n'est pas le rôle de la partie civile de le faire, car cela va manifestement au-delà de ses connaissances. Voilà simplement la clarification que je voulais faire par rapport à l'objection qui avait été formulée tout à l'heure et qui a pu peut-être, à travers la traduction, donner lieu à une mauvaise interprétation de mes propos. Merci beaucoup. Anh đã chia cặp cái lộn nôn chia. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for the clarification from the OCP. I do take the point. Uh, I would just to note uh, for the record that it is our position that this particular civil party is competent to testify about the conditions, the prevailing conditions in Phnom Penh. Between 1960 and 1975, and in particular as they relate to healthcare issues, but also in a more general sense, as he was living here during that time, except of course for the 18 months that he was not in Phnom Penh. Good afternoon, Mr. Civil Party. Uh, I'm going to pick up where I left off right before the question and answer session. And I just have a few more questions left for you about the first topic that I identified uh, the one that we started with this morning, the state of Phnom Penh prior to 1975. This morning, you, uh, in response to a question my colleague across the stage, asked you, you said that at Boricela, where you were doing that triage work that you described, you said that there was a shortage of beds there, and that you did that there was a shortage of beds there, and that you did that there was a shortage of beds there, and that you did that there was a shortage of beds there, and that you did that there was a shortage of beds there, and that you did that there was a shortage of beds there, and that you did that there was a shortage of beds there, and that you did that there was a shortage សិក្ដីសង្ខេបរបស់ខ្ញុំនេះត្រឹមត្រូវពីអ្វីដែលលោកបាននិយាយទៅសហព្រិយញ៉ានិងភិក្ខីព្រឹកម៉េចនេះ
Mr. Civil Party. And that leads me to my next question. You just mentioned the Mayor Soviet Hospital. Earlier in your testimony, you referred to Korea and Nadia, where I believe you told us that you worked. What about those two institutions based on your experience? Did they have enough beds? In other words, were there enough beds at those hospitals? to accommodate all the people who needed care, if you know the answer to that question. Can you tell me about the question of 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 the forefront of the mind is, and Popify V expand. While the world is so experienced, it is so experienced. We have to say that this is so experienced and we have to say that it feels like thegue we have now is more of a power of our land. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Civil Party. The number of doctors that were present at that time, from 1974, let's say, to 1975, you yourself have told us that you were trained as a nurse and then worked as a medic. What about the number of trained physicians, trained medical doctors, of the practice, I should say, in Phnom Penh? When you came back in 1974, could you tell us anything about that? Can 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 you tell us anything about that? อ่ากรุ๊ปอ่าผมเปิดตั้งอ่าผมไปตั้งดับใครนั่งวิมานเอาหนึ่งตรงอ๋ออัดมีนใบตนาทีเกมเป็นตัวอัดตนาเต็ม
หากระไรเบียกัดปรามนึงเหมือนเมนทัวกาลูกรูเปตมันเนี่ยที่หากเหมือนเมนทัวกาแต่อังฟิมเยที่เวียนเมียนลูกรูเปตเบียเวียนเมียนเนี่ยดัชนามสันดับเวียนเมียนเนี่ยหอยระบอบระบอบทัวกาพนงปุ๊บปุ๊บจำนำนงเมียนปุ๊บปุ๊บย่อมหากนงเมียนปุ๊บอังฟิมเยจะเอาจริงๆที่เลือกเป็นหนึ่งที่ที่ผมเมียนปุ๊บเอติยองเอติยองได้ปีปีปีเหมือนตอนกรุ๊ปทนายเจงยี่เมาเมาจุยได้มาห้อยวิจารณ์วิจารณ์วิจารณ์ขยมดำดังไปปรับลูกทำไมอันนึงเบียร์ขยมเคยจังขอบคุณมิสเตอร์เซอร์พาร์ตี้เมื่อทีสมอคนลูกดำดังรอดไปนี้ If I could go back to something that you told us earlier about the food situation in Phnom Penh, you mentioned that prices of food, in particular rice, were quite high already in 1973. Before you left for Sri Lanka, and then when you returned, they were even higher. I would now, with the chamber, like to put a quotation to the witness from a document. This is an excerpt of a book by Mukherjee, and it's called Cambodia in 1975. Now, some resistance from my colleagues and perhaps from judges. I would like to reiterate something that the prosecution stated the last time this issue came up, and I believe, and I will be corrected if I'm wrong, I'm sure by my colleagues, but the position was that such material, that is the scholarly or the commentator or research done by individuals on a particular issue, could be used by the prosecution if there's a direct nexus to the witness. Understand. Now, what I have in front of me is a page of Mr. Vicky's book, and it relates specifically to something that the civil party has been discussing. So there is a direct nexus. I would simply like to put the passage to the civil party and see what, if anything, he has to say about this. May I do that? May I do that? ឈ្មោះបាល់លោះជាមុនសិនទាំងលេខឯកសារទាំងលេខ Thank you, Mr. President. Indeed, I will do that. As I said, it's a well-known book. Everyone is familiar with this document. I assume you are familiar with the document. It's been on the case for quite some time. It's a book by Michael Vickery. It's called Cambodia, 1975 to 1982. It has a document number of the B. ទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទ
So let me read this. <coughs> <coughs> I can sign it, man. That's not some that. Now you put more on your bread. Now you come to be a big guy. Look, no one sees. Look, oh, picky. A big one. Look, that is not that good. Indeed, your honor. Quite a long time ago. Excuse me. Indeed, your honor. Quite a long time ago. Time put. How you man? That's not some like this. That. Can you get paid? Excuse me. How you look thin, man. Hai Paul mới trước ban chi đã hỏi mới cho miền tại mùi phía xa hay phía xa không ai ăn miến. Lũ ai bị vô ban thì. I have no idea. 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 I have no before the chamber during the first mini trial, so that's 31 January 2012. That's E131 stroke 1 stroke 13.1. I believe the document was referenced even prior to that. I'm looking now at the cover submissions of that annex, which contain a footnote which goes back as far as 14 November 2011, when I think we made reference to this document before the first chamber. So I'm sure everyone on the stage is familiar uh, with Michael uh, Vickery's uh, book. I can't imagine it by surprise. By surprise. Uh, Michael Vickery, when I did put it on the interface, I can't imagine it on the interface. Strike that our case manager put it on the interface. Interface. Thank you, President. Uh, I am informed by uh, the Griffin that um, this particular book or page was included in the prosecutor's annexes to be put before the chamber. Can you some, give us, uh, put some light on this? Because as everyone knows, putting it on the um, daily trial um, uh, portion of the file is not notification in the usual uh, sense, so perhaps the prosecutors can assist you. Interface the word I was looking for. Thank you. Oui, merci, Madame la juge. Effectivement, nous avions placé ce document, ce livre, sur notre liste de documents d'avril 2011. Il figurait également sur la liste de documents de juillet 2011, c'est-à-dire les documents qui concernent.
concerne ce, ce premier procès. Euh, concernant la question de savoir si nous ferons objection ou pas, je pense qu'il faudrait d'abord entendre l'extrait qui est cité, étant donné que, effectivement, par la, par, euh, auparavant, la Chambre a estimé qu'il fallait qu'il y ait un lien direct, ce qui a été rappelé par la défense, entre ce qui est lu par un auteur et la personne qui est interrogée. Alors, si est, il s'agit d'une personne comme... Euh, s'il s'agit de la partie civile qui est interrogée, par exemple, on n'aurait pas d'objection à ce que ce passage soit lieu que des questions soient posées. Si il y a un lien évident et direct euh, avec ce que le, la partie civile a pu dire jusqu'à présent. Je ne pense pas que nous nous y opposerons non plus. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Mr. President. And I assure you, this is the only passage I'd like to read out. I'll be very brief. I'm quoting, by 1974, the rice supply for Phnom Penh was only about one-third of the quantity required. And after September of that year, that would be 1974 again, the average head of a household was not earning enough to buy the minimum requirements, even supposing it to be available. In February 1975, a family was only allowed 2.75 kilograms per person for 10 days at the subsidized price, that is 270 grams a day, just slightly more than the DK milk tin. And that's the end of the quotation. Again, if I just repeat my question for you, Mr. Civil Party, and again, please, if you don't know the answer, please tell me, does that passage that I just read, does that conform to your understanding of the situation in Phnom Penh in 1974 and early 1975, in addition to what you've told us already this morning? Thank you, Mr. President. ខ្ញុំមិនដែលមានលឺគេប្រាប់ថាឲ្យទិញកពីគោលមិនដែលមាននេះមិនដែលមាននេះប៉ុន្តែវាងចេះត្រង់ថាពេលនោះអាអីវ
អញ្ចឹងខ្ញុំសូមលោកមេធាវីខ្ញុំមិនមែនមកមកមកមកមកឆ្លោយនឹងសំនួននឹងអានឹងខ្ញុំនិយាយប្រាប់លោកគឺក្នុងរយៈពេលដែលខ្ញុំនៅ ในក្នុងរដ្ឋហ្នឹងនៅក្នុងរដ្ឋនឹងនៅក្នុងរដ្ឋលោកមើលក្នុងសិភៅលោកថាតើនៅក្នុងរដ្ឋ Lopement <laughs> And Mr. Civil Party, if I may, if I may, let me be very clear, I'm not attempting to criticize you in any way for anything that you have done. I'm simply trying to ask you some factual questions, so I hope if, if it seemed like I was attempting to criticize you, I apologize for that. I certainly wasn't. So I'll just repeat my question. Based on your experience working for the Lanwo government, would you agree with what others have said that the incompetence and corruption of that regime, not you, of that regime compounded, that is made worse, the living conditions in Phnom Penh prior to April 1975? ចិត្តសម្ព្រាមតើលោកជួលឃើញខ្ញុំមិនដែរចំពោះការនិយាយនេះខ្ញុំមានលោកប្រធានជាសំនួរជាសំនួរ <coughs> Well, I sincerely do not wish to argue with you, Mr. Civil Party, but if I may remind you, since last week, you have indeed been answering many questions about what happened prior to the fall of Phnom Penh. So I'm not quite sure I understand your last statement. You answered questions by the Civil Party co-lawyer about pre-1975 events. You answered questions by the prosecution about those same events. You answered questions by Judge Laverne, and you even answered some of my questions. So I'm not quite sure I understand your last comment. Is it, that, is it that you do not wish to discuss the incompetence and corruption of the Lan Nol regime in particular? Is that your complaint? Up and 
Away dial Kyum Kun, Tan, the Okay, let me try another question related to this topic. Just last week, your Prime Minister requested the United States government to forgive certain lawnmower era debt because, as he put it, the money was used by a pro American government in the 1970s to repress its own people. So, in particular, the last part of that sentence that the money was used to repress its own people. Do you agree in any sense with that assessment? And I will ask you not to answer that question because my colleague is on her feet, presumably to make an objection. Monsieur le Président, je pense que cette question très intéressante n'a pas lieu d'être dans cette enceinte aujourd'hui. Je ne crois pas que M. Mea Saran doit faire une analyse de la politique actuelle et déjà les questions précédentes amenaient M. Mea Saran à se positionner sur ce qui se passait sous le régime de l'ONNOL. Il était fonctionnaire de l'État et c'est très difficile. Ce sont des questions qui ne sont pas pertinentes et qui ne doivent pas être posés, euh, surtout cette dernière. If I may reply, if I may reply very briefly, I'm not interested in the political situ situation today with this particular question. I'm interested in Hun Sen's characterization of the previous regime, that is the regime that was in power prior to 1975, as a repressive one, as one that used aid money to repress its own people. Now, I'm sure everyone on the stage is well aware that that is a fixture of our defense, has been since 2008, if not prior to that. It's a relevant question in my submission. It's related, in part, to the justifications put forward for the evacuation of Phnom Penh, whether or not, whether or not anyone in this courtroom wishes to rule on them, believe them, what have you, it's relevant to our position. The prevailing conditions, including, including the way the Lawnmower government ran this country prior to 1975, is a relevant contextual consideration. ໃນສະກະໄດຈຸມຕົះມີມູລະຖານຕຶມໆສະກະໄດຈຸມຕົះມີປະສິດທິພາບສໍານວນນີ້ມັນ If I may just add, the civil party has been giving his own personal opinion since he took the stand. He's giving his personal experience, personal observations. I'm asking you to ask him 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 to Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Civil Party, I will move on to the next, to the second area of discussion I, I mentioned earlier this morning, and that is the imminent 
American bombing as a justification for the evacuation of Phnom Penh. I believe you spent quite a bit of time discussing that already. But first of all, let me preface my question that before I ask you any questions, let me say one or two things. First of all, as you heard this morning from the quotations read out in court by my colleague across the stage, our client, Nguyen Chia, obviously does not deny his involvement in the evacuation. In fact, he has made claims that he was involved in that decision. That is something that we have accepted for a long time. Of course, we accept, as we must, as a historical fact, that the evacuation took place. No one disputes that. And finally, if I just may say, I have absolutely no issue with the factual rendition that you've given here. Uh, in this courtroom. I accept what you've said about your journey from Phnom Penh into the provinces. I do have one issue. I do have one issue with respect to this matter, which I'd like to clarify with you. So, if I may now just let me reiterate something that you said. Last week, you told us that the reason given to you and to others for the evacuation of Phnom Penh was that Americans were about to bombard the city. And you've told us that again today. That's correct. Is that correct? Excuse me. Thank you. And you also told us, you also told us last week, and I believe you mentioned it again today, that at the time you accepted that justification, you believed that justification. As you said this morning, I think it could turn out to be true. But then later on, you began to develop certain suspicions as to that justification. Is that correct? Uh, ត្រឹមត្រូវអ្វីដែលខ្ញុំនិយាយការដែលខ្ញុំគិតដែលខ្ញុំហ្នឹងដែលខ្ញុំហ្នឹងថាវាបីថ្ងៃវាអត់មាន
đào thì còn để ta lúc chặt tục thà cả để khi nhầm để gì để họ đào để xã xây mình bày chơi tập thế ông chồng đây ban cầm nót nơi được viết nông ca tăng sầm nô bình mùi đầm na cá sạm na cá mùi năm mùi ngày đi một hơi cứ một phết sầm nô bẹp úp vào màn vị thí ông chồng đây mình hạ nền nhát ao bờ bờ nơi nông cạch đầm na cá sạm na cá vị thí Let me, let me perhaps try a more concrete example. Let's just say that the individual running these proceedings banned so-called leading questions, and then leading questions were asked many times in the courtroom. Ban proprietor Kapi Dam Dambong Yang Chiran. I learned a way the young bantam right to Hai, Chatoki Yutta Sak, the Knonka and Wat, the Knonka, the Pizza, the Dow, the Knonka, the Knonka, no all botoko, ni. Prosun by Lok means of no saying, Chet let some man chain, but talk our tongues of no, Nile, Angum Rehman Ham Court. គឺសំណួរពាក់ព័ន្ធនឹងអង្គហេតុដែលបានចោទប្រកាន់នៅក្នុងដេកាតំណោះស្រាយហើយអង្គជម្រះបានកំណត់យកមកធ្វើសមណ
to be true. And that answer, it could turn out to be true, was given, I believe, in response to the questions as to why you initially believed it. So why, again, if we could stay with this, why did you initially believe it? Why did you think that it could turn out to be true? โลกประเทศนี้เนี่ยได้ปรับจัญปีกลายเวียกาศนึงเนี่ยในข้างกล่าวจรงข้างกล่าวนู้มาท้าเอ่อยุทธีเอาจัญปีปรัวอเมริก
And Your Honor, if I could just uh, note for the record that I've, I've been informed by my colleagues that they do not have any questions for the civil party. I will try to wrap up uh, as quickly as I can, but um, I do have a few more questions I'd like to ask the civil party. Mr. Civil Party, as a party to these proceedings, as a party with, with rights, as a, as a full rights party to the proceedings, shall we say, are you at all concerned, are you at all concerned that this chamber is not materially able to proceed with the trial at a pace required by the applicable human rights standards? That is to say, are you at all concerned with the fact that this court is apparently running out of money? ថាលោកមានការព្រួយបំបំរកគិតដែលទេតែទៅនឹងការខ្លះខាតថាមានការឬក៏ the human rights jurisprudence that applies at our turn from not try it some right to it how you do the mock theater but then by means of no young and group grown we really any hype man when our look proud property carney the way you but take your up away did the need to talk about life thank you mr president i'll move on mr civil party would you agree that one obvious way to deal with this problem would be to ask Mr. C. and Visoth to give back some of the many thousands of dollars he stole from the tribunal during his time as director of the Office of Administration? I believe that was a three-year tenure. Do you think it would ហើយតំណងអាចមានបញ្ហាជាមួយនឹងការនិយាយបែបនេះដែលមានមូលដ្ឋាននេះដើម្បីដឹងរាប់រំនេះមកឆ្លើយតបទេលោកដើរមេត
Thank you, Judge Carr. Right, Mr. Civil Party, let me just say, as I said earlier, I have no reason to doubt anything that you've told us here. I have nothing but the utmost respect for you as an individual, for you as a civil party, and for you as someone who obviously suffered at a period of your life. I want to make that very clear to counter the insinuation made by Judge Cartwright that I lack humanity. Now, I will turn to one last question. As a party to these proceedings, as somebody that presumably cares deeply about this country, are you familiar or have you read recently a Human Rights Watch report entitled Tell Them That I Want to Kill Them? two decades of impunity in Hun Sen's Cambodia. And I would note... สัสัยรูปนี้ดังยิงมันอนุญาตเด้ยิงปรับ Thank you Mr President that will be all for me. I would just like to note for the record that based on that question, my, the base... Young lady, pay up high, man, I look to work on not try, I day. She was low high, young dog with the car, I look down from no, then down, young poor, down my dung rock up in knee, the young Yamreka and Jerry, my brother, he come. Mr. Civil Party, thank you for answering my questions today. Thank you for coming to assist the Chamber, and I wish you all the best. Thank <laughs> សូមគោរពលោកធានសូមគោរពលោកស្រីចៅក្រមសួស្ដីដំណាងអាយការសួស្ដីសហភាពតាសួស្ដីលោកអ្នកទាំងឡាយដែលជួបរួមក្នុង
นี่จะสิทธิ์บาลูกประธานบาลูกมีบำนองทั่วโดยเฉพาะคือต้องยมแรกประดอนพิธีการเตลูกจำเรียบลูกประเทศขยมทลายยมนกุลลูกได้อนุญาตเอาขยมขนมเลี้ยปีจงคราวนี้ขยมจำเรียบแจ้ท่าสาวนาคากัดตุขมายกระหอมนี่ขยมสังคมขยมสังคมท่ากาดินขยมนี่ใบบะปะปุ่นโคนบอกขยมปะปุ่นมาได้ขยมขยมสังคมท่าตุลาคาอาจโรคับปัดเอาขยมอาจโรคับปัดขยมนักแต่สังคมท่าตุลาคานังโรคับปัดเอาขยมปิดพวกขยมละหดมาได้เลยขยมอัดขยมอัดยลขยมอัดยลขยมอัดยลลำปีลำปีใครก็หอมดิ้งดิ้งท่าดิ้งท่าทวีบีบหนังขยมอัดยลเลยมาหอยขยมสังคมท่าตุลาคาขยมสังคมท่าหนึ่งรอหนึ่งรอกับปัดเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาขยมหอยขยมสมอภิตุขยมสมอภิตุบาสันนาหอยขยมสมนมปอร์บอกขยมนี่มันเมียนกาอยู่ตัวขยมสมอโยกเจียงตังอ้อได้ดัดตังเอาขีมือหนึ่งโยกตัวบุชีโยกตัวบุชีมีปรบาสนาจะขนมนึงเมียนปปุ่นขยมขยมมันอาจเอาขยมปปุ่นขยมมันจะนำขนมตรงนุ้งสำหรับเอาขีมือเลยสมสมอภิตุตัวเออเออสลากระไดสมกิกากิกาสมบาสนาจิตธาตุบานก็ตัวบานบากระดาษตัวมันบานขยมอัดอาถ้าตัวบบช่างต่อตัวเลยอัดทีปัญไตขยมสมถ้าบาสนาจิตอาตัวบานคือจะอังเตียงประมาณเลยก็เลยดักตังเอาขีมือสมยกตัวบุจีตามประปีในขมายปีโปรขนมหนังสัตว์ตายมนุษย์ได้เตยเกสมลับได้เตยเกสมลับให้สมลับตั้งเนี่ยนะสมลับตั้งเนี่ยเนี่ยอันนี้มาให้ขยมสมมาไปโตขยมสมมาไปโตทวีจีไซมุ้ยบาสนาจีลูกทวีบานบาสนาจีทวีมันบานเทอันนั้นขยมอัดกอดดังเทบันปัญไตขนมจัดขยมขยมสมท่าดักบูจีตามประปีในขมายท่าเออจัดใดมุ้ยดักกลายเด่นซ้อมรุ่มเด่นทักขีมือเคยกรุบเนี่ยเอาขีมือเคยกรุบเนี่ยท่านนี่กลายนี่ก็เอายืมไปบ้าเตอร์นี่สมสมสมสมโตได้ขยมขยมเฮียนยีดอลลอลถนัดนั่งจมพูหอกไลน์สมาสลักได้เรื่องนี้ขยมขยมยืมยืมไม่ตัวขยมขยมขยมบัดปปุ่นขยมละหดมาดอกปีนี้ขยมมันดังในนาพองขยมมันดังโกนขยมรวยสลับบองหายบาสนาจะปปุ่นขยมนั่งสลับสลับพอจะนึกนึกขนมจังตรงนงขยมสมอภัยตัวโบจีดักเนยกลายมวยได้ซ้อมรุมกลายมากลายนามวยมันเมียนมันควักกลายตีปะให้จีมันควักกลายตีหายเอาคีคีกวงแต่ดังกุ้งเพียบออกมาถ้าจังบานเอาคีเอาเมนูนึกดังท่านนี่เจียเจริญของเอาเมียนกาเมียนไทยกรอยมันไอ้ที่จัดได้บรรดาขยมสมถ้าเอากบเอาขึ้นจังบาลอิงจังสมอภัยตัวสมอภัยตัวเห็นบ่าคุณลูกเมียสันเลนิกาสำหรับใครกรรมบรรลุนงเดียมจะเดินมาดังระดับปีนี้ระหดระดับปีนี้บรรจับเฮยวัดเมียนบรรลุในอวตารก็เลยเมียนเพียบจำใบเจ็ดเฮยสักใครกรรมบรรลุนงอายรวมพิกตินในขนมกาไฟเราเกิดในขนมเรื่องใดนี่ลูกเมียสันอายุเริ่มตลอดตือลมเดินทางบรรลุหรือกับกูดังนะเดินลูกเมียนบมน้องจังเตอร์บรรเฮยให้ส่งจุนโปลกจูบแต่ตำแหน่งล้อเมียนสกุลพิบล้อนังผู้ดำเนินตลอดแต่วินประกอบได้สมบัติพิบมนตรีรัฐบาลตลาดการตลอดรวมจมูกนังมนตรีในองค์พิบกองพิศสัตย์ในนังในจมเนียงนองกาจูนลูกมีสารันเบอร์ตลอดตะการลมเนินทางบกวดหรือกติกาไลจิโกได้ได้กวดเมียนบำรองจังเตอร์บานเฮยให้ลูกมีสารันอาจจะจ่ายเฉยปีบรรทุกสำนักการตลอดแต่วินบานเฮยองค์จมเรศส่งจมเรียบจูนพิกินสัตย์ในจุนท้าเออไปเรียดในเซซอลในทางไงนี่อองยมเรียนนังเพื่อสำนักกาสดับตะเคียงกัมดามดังรอบนี้ดามีนฮาร์เซนิมทีซีซีพีมารอยพรำไอเรื่องนี้ดาวเปลือกสำหรับให้อองยมกาสำหรับมาพินิติจากเปอร์เปนิสเตอร์ดาวดามองบีส่งมาเชิญโจวินจะไม่บรรทองกันจำนวนกาสำนักกาสำหรับโจ
ส่งเจนกลางเชิง